flames of smoke, red light in the background. Red, red light in the background. Robin Morin was on the last bus out yesterday night. He's one of about 500 evacuees now living at a soccer centre in Saskatoon's North End. If I could do one thing right now, I'd so take a shower, but I didn't even bring no clothes. And <laughs> you, you don't, get, you don't, what did you leave your house with? Everything. <laughs> oh, my, just practically my purse and my baby's bag, like pampers, bottle. Yeah, I didn't even grab a car seat. The province says the flames are now within three kilometers of Pelican Narrows. And this is why everybody is, evacu is evacuating, recommended that you leave. Crews are running sprinklers. They say no structures have burned. And 3,000 people are still in the community. The Red Cross and the province are bringing in supplies and trying to make this soccer centre feel more like home. There's health facility, uh, there's a uh, health nurse comes in. In fact, the bus is right behind us now. And um, so that's another service that's available to them. Um, then there's what we call personal services. So uh, there's activities that will be arranged for children. There's often uh, events with elders as well. But as evacuees here settle in, some are angry, saying the province should have attacked these fires sooner. Others are worried about looting, about whether their homes are safe. Everybody's missing home. <laughs> <laughs> they're all want to go home. Yeah, they're all complaining. <laughs> Evacuees will likely be here for at least several more days. The long-range forecast calls for hot, dry weather in the area where these fires are burning and no significant rain for at least another week. Jennifer Cannell, CBC News, Saskatoon.